Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Lisa. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to review this tag punch that I received from Panda Hall. Panda Hall is an online craft company. They sell a lot of papers, scrapbooking supplies, jewelry supplies, all sorts of craft supplies to include fabric, um, you name it, they sell it. So I picked two things from their website and the first one I want to review is this tag punch. This tag punch will cut out three size tags in width, one and a half inches, two inches, and two and a half inches. So let's see how it works on various papers. I will leave a link below so you can check out this product on Panda Hall's website. So here's the punch. It's actually quite large. I mean, here's my hand and it's the size of my hand. I didn't think it was gonna be this large. It has a blue handle right here. It has the widths of each tag. And if you can see very closely, it has the little grooves, the slots where you would stick your paper in. And the back looks just like this. You cannot take it apart. Well, you probably could if you had a screwdriver, but it's not something that will slide off and yet you can take apart. So I've already pre-cut my papers right here. And I thought I would start with this small uh, punch the one inch punch. Now I'm curious to see how it would work on regular copy paper, which a lot of people use in junk journaling. Here's just regular, you know, lined paper. And then I have like a cardstock, which is really thick. So let's just start with the regular paper. I'm gonna put it in the punch and let's see if it easily punches just regular thin paper. So right away, I can tell you, you gotta kind of finagle it a little bit to get it all in there. And this is why I think I have a couple of doubts if it's gonna punch regular paper well. Okay, that was a fail. I'm starting to think that this might only be good for like thicker papers. Okay, it punched right here, but it's not even on both sides. Let's try multiple sheets at one time. Maybe it has to be thicker. So here's three pieces of lined paper. I'm just gonna put it in. Let's see if I can get a good punch. Sticking it in is, hmm. Trying to stick it in without it curving. Okay. Got the bottom two sheets pretty well. So maybe the ticket is, you know, two sheets at a time. Let's try two sheets of just regular copy paper. I think one sheet of paper is gonna be way too thin for this punch. Okay, I feel like it's in there correctly. Kind of like. So it works well with two sheets, but I can tell you right now, looking at it, this side is not symmetrical with that side. I think it's gonna work best with a thicker paper. This is one inch size. Let's check it out. 
okay. Right away, I can tell the difference with the thicker paper. It went in really nice. Yeah, and I'll put a little pressure on it. Okay, I got a punch. Again, it's just not totally symmetrical. This side here is a little shorter than this side. Do you see that? But it did work. Let's try it again. Hopefully this time, third, second, second time a charm. Let's see if this works better. Much better. And you know why it worked better? Is I kind of stood up, so I had better weight on it when I pressed down. Let's try again. One inch. I'm gonna stand up just so it gets more of my weight. Perfect. That's the ticket. Kind of stand over the punch to push it down. Let's try it again. Perfect. It is symmetrical. So far, the thicker paper is a game changer. Let's try this thin paper just one more time. I'm gonna give it one more shot. Folded it in half, I'm gonna put the folded edge in. Maybe if I stand up. Okay, there we go. These by itself, single papers, not good. Put two in, it seems like two is the magic number. Kind of stand over it and that is perfect. So it's good to experiment. Okay, here is a two inch side. Now, these are just regular postcards that you would receive in the mail. Like I got these in, from Social Nature when they send me coupons and they're just the nice thickness to make tags from, you know, to decorate. So I put in, I'm gonna stand up. Very nice, I like that. And the good thing about these tags is you can make gift tags for, you know, gifts. Obviously, if you're not a junk journaler, you don't have to do it for junk journaling. You can, you know, cut really pretty cardstock. So I will be doing another video where I decorate, but the thicker paper works really good. So I can keep this like this size and make a tag this size or a bookmark, or I can cut it, you know, to a shorter size, or even make little, tabs for a journal, cut it right there. Let's do the other end. This time I'm not gonna stand, I'm just gonna sit. Oh, what happened there? Was that neat? Look at that. Oh, I know what happened. <laughs> I didn't line it up correctly. I must have had it over. There you go, that was me, operator ever. So here's a clean tag. So just make sure like no matter what size you're doing to have it in the grooves, right? In between the grooves. Perfect. Very, 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 very nice. Okay, that's two inch side. Let's try three inch, I mean two and a half inch. As you see, it takes up the whole grooves here, from here to here. Nice. Very nice. So that is, oh, and all the trash does come out the bottom. That's wonderful, because I was wondering, where's it gonna go? It's right here. Sometimes, you know, manufacturers put a plastic thing here that you could remove and then shake it out, but that's okay. As long as I know the trash came out. So this is the three tag punch. My observations are it does better on thicker paper. If you use regular paper, such as here's just, you know, regular writing paper, fold it in half. Don't use a single sheet. Feed it in. You got your two tags and they're nice and symmetrical. So you just gotta do a little practicing. I like this very much. It is large, it's 
not, and it does, you know, it's made out of metal and plastic. It's very well made, and I like it a lot. So this is Panda Hall. If you're interested in checking it out, I'll leave the link below. And um, let me know your thoughts, guys. Do you like it? Would you be interested in making stuff like this? I think it's really cute. You can make all sorts of tags. You don't have to be a junk journaler. You could just make tags for gifts, you know? I will see you all in the next video. Please give me a thumbs up if you'd like and a subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.